Yo, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Sean Taylor, and I help artists blow up their brands and their fan base. And as always, information is key, so we're going over four tips to change your image quickly without killing your brand. First, going to give three quick cases of artists, and then we'll talk about one last tip at the end. So project theme is tip number one, right? Bruno Mars has done this well throughout the years, and it's really the idea of creating an image based on whatever project that you're doing. Right. If you might not know his projects too well, but if you go look at it every single time each project came out, he had a different look. This look like right here was a little bit old school medallion 70s played up. And then now 24 karat magic. He's obviously on this super Las Vegas player vibe. And it goes so much along with the whole theme of just being 24 karat Las Vegas, that entire lifestyle. Number two is fashion. Fashion. You don't need a project or anything if you're using fashion as a tactic for changing your image quickly. If you already establish yourself as a fashionable person, you can pretty much wear anything and just blame it on being fashionable. Right. Aesop Rocky does this very well because that's just his image. He's, he's this fashionable guy. So really, the image is being fashionable, not what you're wearing itself. So it allows you to wear anything. Fuck it. That is number three. And Kanye West is the guy who does this so well, but I'm going to go into deeper with him because he does three things. He does the fuck it tactic, but he also does being fashionable and he also does project themes. So check this out. College dropout. Not only was this fuck it because I'm going to be the only guy who's dressing preppy at this time, but then preppy goes along with the theme of college dropout. Get it? And he kind of sets a fashion trend with that. This, eh, it is what it is. I don't even, I don't like that look. But 808 and Heartbreaks, he set an entire aesthetic around 808 and Heartbreaks. And this is the, the fashion look that he created to go around it. But at the same time, when you get to things like this, well, that, that was cool. But then when you get back into this thing where people call in a skirt, now he's back to the fuck it. This is so far ahead fashion wise that I'm just going to have to say F it because y'all don't get it yet. Whereas ASAP Rocky, he's just wearing things that, are fashionable but people already understand it Kanye West goes so far ahead sometimes he has to say fuck it so this is a short look at his evolution of his fashion and how he was dressing and then last but not least is authentic message that's what matters more than anything because if you're changing how you look as long as you keep your message authentic and it's not contradictory to whatever your message is you should be okay right um so somebody like Janelle Monet, who's always kind of been played down and not showing her body and kind of built a career on not having to be someone who shows their body to have a fan base, couldn't necessarily start dressing like Amber Rose out of nowhere because that's contradictory to her prior image. That you can't do. But otherwise, if you don't go to the extreme, you should be decent. Time is just a regular way to use your image change. It's not a quick change, but it's just basically natural evolution. So you could think of Rihanna, she's done this very eloquently. Jay-Z has done this. Uh, Beyonce, and that's like, I'm just getting older, so I'm going to dress more mature or just, you know, have different vibes. But that's it. Hope that was cool. Subscribe if you like this stuff and you want to make your career better as a musician. Get your brand up because that's what I love to do. Help people do that. Have a great one. Peace.